Uh, KL, we have learned that Rishabh Pant is released from the ODI squad. And he is the, your, your genuine wicketkeeper, and you, are, you don't really do this job regularly in the ODI team. So when you have learned that Rishabh Pant is not going to keep in this match, and why he is released from the ODI squad? Sir, actually, if you we haven't played a lot of ODIs in the last uh, six, seven months, but if you look at since 2020 or 21, I, I have kept wickets in the one-day format and I have batted at number four and number five in the middle order. It's a, it's a role that um, team has asked me to be ready for. Uh, and um, yeah, when it comes to Rishabh, I'm not very aware, to be honest. Um, I just found out today in the dressing room that he's been released. I don't know what the reasons are. I think the medical team will be in a better situation to answer that question. But um, yeah, this is a role that the team's always asked me to be ready for in, in white ball cricket and I've done it before. And uh, um, yeah, whenever the team wants me to play this role, I play this role. That's that's cricket, right? You, you have to expect the unexpected sometimes. And, and you know we've seen it so many times. So, I mean, as long as cricket's been played, I think these kind of results keep happening. Um, you know, if, uh, you've never won the game till till the last ball or till the last run is scored, and uh, yeah, they fought really well. They fought really, um, they fought till the end, and that um, innings from Mehdi, I think um, a couple of drop drop chances as well. Uh, but he batted really well, and, and yeah, yeah, they like I said, they fought till the end and they wanted it. Just on your batting in particular, you know, it seemed like at times in that in your innings you were, you were batting you know, in, a, in a different uh, way in, in terms of fluency compared to everyone else. I mean, describe that not. It was just one of those days where, I mean, um, I looked like, um, out of everybody else, I looked like I was timing the ball better and, and the, sh the, the shots that I picked um, Fortunately for me, went went to the went to the boundary, or every option that I took just went my way. And uh, something that I've been working on, even the last couple of sessions that we've been here in Bangladesh, the the pitches even at the back have been quite similar to uh, what we got in the middle today. So. Um, um, I tried to challenge myself. All the preparation obviously happens before the game, and uh, yeah, so um, quite pleased with with you know. Um, such innings really, really gives you um, joy as a as a batter because you you you're challenged and and you you have to um, really put your hand up when your team team requires. So um, I enjoyed enjoyed my batting today. But yeah, um, you know, I would have ideally like 30, 40 more runs uh, towards the end and uh, uh, 230. You know, I did fancy 230, 240. I mean, um, if I batted till the end, uh, Siraj was batting well with me. So if I could have batted another 10 overs and got 35, 40 runs, would have been um, uh, the difference. Uh, you know, that, uh, last few overs, your bowlers looked toiling severely. And what went wrong actually with your bowlers, and how did they feel with the batting? Um, I don't. I mean, I said this earlier also. I mean, towards the end, it was it was. Um, only one way they could have won, um, and I think uh, Mehdi Hassan played a phenomenal innings, and uh, um, he took a few chances, took took some big risk, which he had to towards the end. He had to take those big risks and play those big shots, and um, he found the boundary. And uh, once you, when you only have 30, 35 runs, one or two big shots also puts pressure on the opposition, and uh, he he did that really well. And um, yeah. Also, you know, a couple of drop chances didn't didn't help us. So, um, happens in happens in cricket. And um, yeah, today I think Bangladesh, uh, like I said, fought fought really hard till the end, and um, they won the game today. But we made a few mistakes, so we we'll learn from it and come back stronger. But we only won the World Cup ke baad dekha, jis tarikhe se New Zealand bhi tha aur yahan bhi thoda sa bowling attack ke baare comparatively utna zada experience nahi hai. To aise mein humne dekha ki un games mein bhi aur yahan bhi thoda sa batting us tarikhe se nahi hai. To kya batting group ko thoda sa ownership aur responsibility badi zada leni chahiye us tarikhe se? Ji zaroor hai. I mean, aise nahi ki. Games हम जीतते या हारते सिर्फ batting batting के वजह से या bowling के वजह से it's a it's a team game and all all skills have to be done really well bowling batting और fielding जो भी team अच्छा करेगा वो ही जीतेगा very few times um, एक या दो player के वजह से या batsman या bowler के वजह से match जीत सकते हैं तो um, 
yes, I mean we do have a lot of injuries in 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 our team, which is unfortunate. Um, but having said that, जो भी youngsters आते हैं team में, they they have a lot of experience of maybe IPL or um, they played quite a lot of cricket. So um, it's a good opportunity for them, and uh, we're all excited for whoever comes into the team, and हम लोग उनको back करते हैं, support करते हैं, and and these are the games where you um, where you try out um, a few new players and and unfortunately due to injuries you know you you have to field um, different players but having said that india mein itna talent hai itne acche acche players aa rahe hain so um, it's a good opportunity for all of them and uh, we will we will learn uh, as we as we play more cricket together as they get more experience they'll only get better so we're not really um, वारेड और फर्स्ट नहीं कर रहे कि न्यूजीलैंड में एक रिजल्ट अच्छा नहीं गया या यहाँ आज का मैच अच्छा रिजल्ट नहीं गया इट्स इट्स ऑल लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड वी हैव अ बिगर गोल इन माइंड एंड वी नीड टू कीप गेटिंग बेटर एज इंडिविजुअल्स एंड एज अ टीम और जो भी हम अच्छी चीज़ें करते हैं या गलतियाँ करते हैं उससे उनको बेटर करके वील वील ट्राई टू गेट बेटर एंड बेटर एज अ टीम